Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Genomaster98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to take a look now at some new products from Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi and in today's Star Wars review we're going to take a look now at a brand new character that is appearing in Episode 8. And the character we're going to take a look at today is this guy. It is DJ from The Last Jedi. Now this is a fantastic figure I've got for you today. Very nicely sculpted indeed. Um, paint applications, everything about his character is sculpted well. And looking forward to seeing his role in The Last Jedi. So that's DJ from Canto Bite, the new planet or the new casino in the events of The Last Jedi. Before I get onto the review, I'm going to show you the packaging that comes with DJ. As you see, this is the packaging for The Last Jedi. You've got the Star Wars logo there in red. You've got DJ at the side, also with his name and the artwork. Hasbro and Disney logo. Plastic bubble that protects the figure. And like I said, with the image, you've got a very nice image of Benicio Del Toro, the actor who plays DJ in The Last Jedi. Turn around, you've got the app that they are promoting as well. Another part of the app there and legal stuff there also with the bottom of the packaging as well and like with all these figures it does come with a set of instructions on the new app but as you are aware I'm not really interested in them see it again that's the packaging really nicely done So let's get on to the figure, the DJ, he does come with some articulation, he does come with a swivel head that moves left to right, swivel left arm, swivel right arm, swivel right leg and a swivel left leg. He does come with a blaster pistol sculpted in a silver plastic and at the end of it it does look like it has a silencer which is very cool. I do like this pistol. But the only issue I have with it is it can hardly fit in the holster properly. Like you have to move the gun and put it in that way. Whereas obviously with other guns, it's obviously striped to the leg. But with this one, you've got to really fiddle about with it. And due to obviously the extra part of the pistol on the end, the little extra part there looks like a, a laser sight thing. It is restricted in a way, but you can put the pistol in the holster, but it is, like I said, it is a tight fit. It's kind of awkward as well. So, if I can get it in there. So you can get the pistol in there, but it is a tight fit. Really tight fit, so that's a little weakness of mine, the holster. So the holster is obviously on the right hand side of his leg, that you can see, so it's right hand side there. But yeah, that is an issue for me, the uh, holster is sculpted a little bit poor, they could have done better there Hasbro. He does come with a very unique outfit, really large jackets well, with a little bit of gold, or a little bit of trim, brown trim, on the jacket itself. He does come with a sculpted hat, with a little bit of sculpted hair. It does come with a cut on the right hand side of his face. So I'll give you a zoom in on the face. So you've got a little bit of sculpted beard, his uh, obviously little hair there. If you look at the side of the right hand face, you can see a cut. But like I said, DJ is from Canto Bite, one of the new planets in The Last Jedi. We see some shots of him with Finn and Rose looks like an Imperial ship and same with most new characters looking forward to seeing their role in the film but overall his sculpted outfit despite the um, rubbish sculpting of the blaster holster on the side of his right hand leg this figure is really nice I'm looking forward to seeing how Benicio Del Toro plays DJ in The Last Jedi 
But like I said, fantastic figure, really pleased to have in the collection. So that's DJ from Canto Bite. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Oh, I just forgot to mention something as well before I sign off. Also, if you look at the side of his head, it does come with some sculpting uh, writing, I believe. I don't know what that signifies, but obviously we see that in the film. That's one thing I just forgot to point out about his hat, so I do apologise. So that's a yeah. Like I said, that's DJ from Canto Bite. Hope you've enjoyed this review, and I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. If you want to see more of me, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you very, very soon. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. I made a force be with you.